Today I'm going to show you how I make my bread dumplings. The preparation for the bread dumplings is really easy and fun. You will need the following ingredients. Approximately 400 grams of bread, around 250 milliliters of warm milk, 2 tablespoons of diced pancetta or bacon, half a small shallot, one egg and 2 tablespoons of chopped parsley. Maybe you will also need breadcrumbs, I know I did. First, pour over your warm milk. My suggestion is, you do it a little at a time. I was a little bit too eager and I will get to regret it later. Get in with your hands and start smushing and squishing. Leave the bread to soak up all the milk. If you see that the bread is still too firm, just add a little bit of extra warm milk and wait. The amount of milk you will need really depends on how old your bread was. Next, dice up your shallot into small pieces. Let's crease up our pancetta or bacon, if you're using that. Place it in a cold pan and fry it off until golden and crispy. Once done, remove the pancetta, but leave the fat in the pan. We'll use the fat to flavor our diced shallots. On medium heat, saute your shallots until they become translucent. Add in your parsley and your pancetta, mix well and set aside to cool completely. Once the shallot and pancetta mixture has cooled, add it to your softened bread and mix. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you very much! After, add in your egg and mix very well. Make a small bowl to check if they stick together well. Mine were a tad bit too wet, which means that I added a little bit too much milk or that the bread wasn't as dry as I thought at first. This can be easily fixed with some breadcrumbs. Add a little at a time, mix and see how the mixture feels. For easier shaping, wet your hands with cold water. When you are forming the bread balls, they must not be sticky, but they must hold their shape. Bring to a boil at least 1 liter of water with 1 teaspoon of salt. Carefully add in your dumplings and cook them for 8 to 10 minutes. The cooking time will depend how big or small you made them. Once cooked, remove them from the pot and drain them. They are ready to serve right away. If you know you won't eat all of them, cook only as many as you will eat. The rest you can freeze. If you're cooking them from frozen, just drop them in boiling water and add 2 minutes to the cooking time. They are unforgettable side for goulash or other stews and are wonderful to use up your old bread. If you wish to see how I made my goulash, you can find the link down in the description. Thank you to everyone that made it to the end of this video. I hope you liked it and see you next time. Bye bye!